It's first light in Alaska, and we're hitching up our dog teams for a two-day trek into the Denali wilderness on our own. Here comes the madness. Okay, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. We gotta stay here for now. Oh, did I do that upside down? I sure did. Do you want to go run? Come on. I know you want to run. Come on. This is it. It's the day we put our skills to the test and go out into the back country of Denali. I feel confident. But then again, I don't have someone who's a pro at this sitting in the front of my sled giving me instructions. So like, it might be a little different. Yesterday, we went about six or seven miles. Today, it's going to be about 17 miles. It's going to be through different terrain going up actually into the mountains. Our guides will be near us, but we're each managing our own sled team. Let's go. Go. Woo. OK, let's go. Being out here with my own dog team is so surreal. Good job, Junko. Everything is peaceful. The scenery all around us is spectacular. Woo! Oh, it's so fun when one of them looks back here, they're just grinning, like, ah! They look so stoked. Woo, there's a tree. Good dogs, good dogs. Oh, coming up to a hill. The terrain out here is constantly changing. Oh, yeah. Woo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. That was close. With five sleds and 30 dogs on the trail, we can't expect to see much in the way of wildlife, but we can see the signs. Whoa, moose tracks! Look how big they are! There are about 2,000 moose in Denali. They can weigh up to 1,500 pounds, and all this commotion is keeping them at a safe distance. Woo! On level ground and in good weather, sled dogs can run 10 to 14 miles per hour. As the leader of this pack right now, it is my job to make sure that these guys are doing what they're supposed to do. Whoa. Whoa, dogs, whoa. If a dog gets tangled in a harness line, we stop immediately and untangle it. Dude, dude, wait. Kira, there we go. When we stop for a break, the dogs roll in the snow to cool off. Ida has become one of my favorites because I can just see her just looking around, getting nervous with all the commotion, and I definitely can relate. Let's go! Winter days in Alaska are short. After just a couple of hours, the sun is getting low in the sky, but we still have a ways to go. Whoa, dogs, whoa! Now, I will say, these guys obviously have more energy left in them, oh, which yeah. is good, because I think we still have to go a few miles up and over that ridge, yep. then down into the valley. Yep. All right, let's do it. All right. Colton, we got this. <laughs> OK. We're just half a mile from where our guides are setting up camp. Oh, wow. Let's go, guys. But it's a half mile uphill. Let's go, dogs. This is where it becomes a real team effort. I have to hop off, and now I'm pushing the sled up with the dogs leading the way. Here's the workout. Go, 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 go. So right now, I'm having to walk a lot of it. Woo! I'm winded. And these guys are just going. I think I have to work out more. Woo! All right, all right. <laughs> It's definitely tiring. I mean, we're walking through about three to four feet of snow. This is brutal. These dogs go faster than normal walking. So I'm basically jogging up the side of this mountain right now. Uh, come on, dogs, let's go. Come on. Uh, oh. Come on, dogs. Home stretch. Almost there, guys. Yeah, buddies. Look at that. So we cleared the uphill, which was way harder than I thought it was going to be. All right, we did it. 17 miles, we made it to camp. And honestly, there wasn't a second that these guys were tired. Even now, I'm sure these guys could go for another 15 miles. But man, oh man, that was just incredible. And now it's our turn to take care of them. Each dog has to be leashed to the dog lines where they'll spend the night. Good dog. Oh. 
Oh. Come on, girl. You got this. It's like a minefield. You have no idea what's going to give way. <laughs> Come on. These guys have earned themselves a treat. So these are meat snacks for the dogs. Okay. Just a couple rules with the meat snacks so no one gets hurt. Don't let them take it out of your hand because they'll bite your hand off. And <laughs> okay. then when you toss it in front of them, toss it right in front of the dog. Don't toss it between two dogs because they'll fight over those things. Gotcha. Okay. This is their favorite thing in the world. And this is exactly where they want to be. The dogs love sleeping under the stars. We made it. We did it. They made it. <laughs> yeah, these guys made it. Yeah. yeah. They were so happy. We did 17 miles today, and it's fun to see how much they love this. Tomorrow will be an easy downhill glide back to civilization, but we're all wishing we could just keep going. This is one of the most epic camps that we've ever been in. Yeah. We've got Denali over there. The sun is setting. We had the most beautiful sunset I've seen in my entire life today. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Make sure to leave any questions or comments that you have. And please, subscribe to the channel. There's a lot more to come.